Eversource crews are going to be here right through the night. Just behind us, you can see them still continuing their work right now. Now, in this part of the building, you can see the lights are on, but crews say a large portion of the state house is still in the dark. Lawmakers and staffers evacuated the state house as firefighters raced in and fire trucks surrounded the historic gold domed building. There was a smell as though something was burning. We found out that there was an electrical fire in the lower level of the building. State Auditor Diana DiZaglio was among those forced out around 2 o'clock. So was Senate Minority Leader Bruce Tarr. It's not only serious because of public safety, it's serious because this is an historic building that has historic content. Firefighters found a fire burning in a tunnel below the basement. They say it appears high voltage lines had overheated. It could have been the demand because of the air conditioning. It could have been anything. It's under investigation. Accessing the space proof tricky and the burning wires spread deadly levels of carbon monoxide through some parts of the building. An average reading might be 10 to 11 pots per million. This was in the thousands. Everyone did make it out safely, but early on some weren't sure it was a real emergency. We had had a fire alarm pulled or something had happened earlier in the day that was a false alarm. Most people thought that that was what was occurring once again. As Eversource crews repaired the damage, work stopped for the day during one of the busiest times of the year for lawmakers as summer recess quickly approaches. We may have to quicken the pace on a couple of things, but I don't think it will be incredibly disruptive. And so again, the state house will be closed tomorrow. Tonight, we don't have a time frame on when the power will be restored to the entire building. We're live at the state house tonight. John Atwater, WCBB News Center 5.